Hey guys, so uh, a lot of people have been asking me to make videos like this, so I'm gonna make a quick one, uh, like how to look back at my spec picks from a while ago. I usually spec on new books coming out so you can get that idea and buy it early and save a couple bucks, get it at cost, get it in your box, so you don't spend a lot in the future and try to spec on new characters and stuff like that. But every once in a while, I do videos where I spec for the future of comic books. So I made a video called 10 uh, Comics Under $1,000 CGC 98 to Invest in. And that was in November 9th, 2019. So November, December, November to December, December to January, January, February, February, March, March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July. And it's almost the 9th. So eight months ago, I made this video. So I've broke it down. And you're going to see the eight-month video. It's going to be shortened, though. And I'm going to put in the numbers and stats and show if my picks increased or not. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you uh, enjoy this content. And trust me, guys, uh, my number one goal is to make you guys money and save you money. So... That's as easy as that. So let's watch this video and you tell me what you think. Okay. 10 CGC 9.8 under $1,000 to invest in. Real keys. Okay. We're going to start off with, you know, Ultimate Fallout. Straight up. Number four. Okay. This is the first Miles Morales. Uh, new Spider Man, whatever. First printing. They're selling right now for about 350 bucks. Dude, this is the future. Okay, Ultimate Fallout, or not, Miles Morales is the future. With Spider-Verse movies, stuff like that. Dude, he is the future, you guys. Um, they might be selling a little high right now. I'm not sure where the, if they're high or low. Uh, but there's no time like now to get in on it. Before you know it, they're going to be 500, 600, 700. This is a book, Ultimate Fallout number four, 9.8, first miles, that will, first print, stand the test of time, okay? That's all I'm going to say about this, because I don't want to make this video super long, but understand that a lot of these books are, these are first appearances. Um, not all of them, but, okay. <laughs> Ooh! So, this one's up in the air, okay? But I think that if... This is Teen Titans number 12, okay? It's selling between $300 and $350. I know the image is crappy, but remember, Teen Titans number 12, okay? First appearance of Batman Who Laughs. Simple. He's a badass villain character, and they've been running with him for a while. Whether it will go down or not, I think it'll. I think it's bigger than Cosmic Ghost Rider, and I didn't put it, him in here. Um... 300 to 350 depending you can snipe this book maybe i think eventually this book is going to keep going up and i think it's a reasonably low print okay so let's keep going okay edge of spider verse number two. First, uh spider gwen or whatever when stacy spider -Man. she's like miles morales the future is th those two so far, I think, for Marvel. Uh, the new breed. This is one of the books. Okay, so this book is right now in a 9.8, about $350 to $400. Whether it's high or low, it's up to you. But I do believe it's going to keep going up. Key. Okay. This is for you guys that have a lot of money. Well, what should I buy? Should I buy, um, you know three one in a hundred variants that will die eventually and then ebay later they'll be 30 bucks each or should you know that you buy them a hundred each or should i buy a key there's your answer right there buy that okay okay spawn number one there are a billion of these okay but dude they're like a hundred bucks you can get one for a hundred bucks a 98 now the newsstand will be a different price 
But you can get a spa number one. Now, this isn't the first appearance. Malibu Sun number 12 is, but that's a different price range, I think, um, depending. So I would say, I know these are mass printed, but if you got 100 bucks and you're looking to buy a book, you might as well get a slab 99 of this because Spawn's going to keep going, dude. Um, this is McFarlane's baby. I don't think they're ending it anytime soon. And if they make that damn movie, you're going to watch this book go up in value. Right now, it's like right at 90 to 100. It might be a good idea to get it. That's all I'm saying. Okay. New Mutants 98. This book has fluctuated over time. And I don't know why it's hot, not hotter. Maybe because there's a lot of them. I don't know. First appearance of Deadpool, okay? You can get this book right now from $650 to $700. If you could snipe it and get it in the low end, you know, it's a, dude, it's a 9.8. Now, you guys can buy 9.6s, 9.4s, and press them and try to get 9.8s or get a raw one, a high grade for like 200 bucks. But if you want to just go straight to the 9 out, you can look at it at 650 to 700 I remember when these books were selling for eight to nine. So they dropped a little, I think. I just think it's a big book to pick up and it's still, I think it's a good investment for Deadpool. Um, that's my point of view, point of view on it, okay? Okay, next. Okay, Tales of Teen Titans number 44. This book in a 9-8 is 200 bucks. Nightwing, first Nightwing. It's 200 bucks. To me, I think that book will go up. It's probably one of the oldest of the bunch. Um, I don't have it, <laughs> so. But I think, I just, I just think it's a good investment at 200 bucks. And it, I think it has legs in the future for long run, long term, okay? That's my point of view again. Batman Harley Quinn. The Alex Ross 9-8, okay? That is the first Harley Quinn in DC continuity. Now, you have a, bench, a Batman Adventures number 12 or 13 or whatever, number 12. Um, that's over $1,000 at 9-8, okay? And, but this is the first Harley Quinn in DC continuity. And it's a fire cover. It's always going to be a classic cover with the Joker on there. Right now, a 9.8 of that is 250 to 275 Now, that might be a slow burn up, but it's a classic. And I don't see a lot out there. So if you can find one for 250 to 275 I would get it. I would get it. Now, of course, this is only 9.8s right now. We could do 9.6s and drop the prices if you guys want a little bit less, you know, drop a hundred bucks here and there on different things go for the nine six i mean you have to be honest with you guys though near mint is a nine four so a nine six is a near mint plus and a nine eight is a near mint plus to mint so regardless of how you do i think if you're gonna go you go nine eight if you can and get it at those prices i like that book and i think harley quinn is the future or of collectibles because we got to look at you know we're talking 50, 40s 50s 60s 70s books that's there a lot of them are untouchable there are some other ones i'll, I'll dig into that later um but this is just a quick kind of modern look at things under a thousand for all you guys to look and go look you know what i don't want to get I, I could just name a thousand things that are bull crap hot and these are things that will last okay so let's just, let's keep going so I don't freak out on you guys. NYX number three. First, uh, X-23, okay? Wolverine's daughter, clone, whatever you want to call it. This book is probably the most expensive of the bunch. A 9.8 is selling anywhere between $800 and $900. Dude, I'm telling you, this, to me, this is a huge book. I still don't have one. I want one really, really bad. Um, I know the picture sucks, but dude, that's a, I would think that's a pretty low print book. And dude, it's X-23, dude, she's fire. Now this is everything under a thousand. I love that book, okay? And I believe she is the future too. Okay, this is crazy to me right now. 
Amazing Spider-Man number 361 on 9-8. This is the first carnage. Okay? It's selling for $300 to $400. A 9-8 is selling for $300 to $400. I think that's low. And when the new Venom comes out, dude, that book's going to go up again. Uh, I just, it's like Deadpool. It's like it has this weird thing where it's not gaining. It fluctuates. But, dude, it's the first carnage. You can get a 9-8 for three to 400 bucks. I would do it. If you have the money and you're looking to look into different things, you can pick any of these. Um, but this is a great option. I don't... I, I can't... Honestly, I can't believe it's still that in that 300 to 400 range. Okay. Venom number three. The first appearance of no. Okay. Uh, at least that's what they say. First full appearance of no. Uh, I've been hoarding these uh, myself. I've been buying them all different types. This is the first printing. Um, look, guys, it's anywhere from 100 and 120 dollars. You can snipe these sometimes and get it under 100. Dude, no is a huge character. Okay, not just because I'm a Venom fan, but look, before the Celestials and all that stuff came to the universe, before the Marvel universe began, apparently. Well, the way that Galactus says is that the universes are created, I think, and they're all dark at first. And then he comes, and he's born, and the universe, and then he destroys it, and it starts all over again, right? That's his role, or whatever. But when they come, Venna, or Null, was in the darkness. So, he is unkillable, mega powerful. They can do so much with him. They're doing it right now. A hundred bucks, dude. He's got a future in the in. A hundred bucks. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Just save some for me, cause I'll be trying to snipe. Love that book. At a hundred bucks, I love it all day long. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope back then some of you bought those books. I know I did. Um, a couple of them are at the same price point, but I truly believe, for instance, Spawn One eventually the book will go up in value maybe not a lot but you can still get it for cheap and then nyx you could still get for around the same price but all those other books have gone up some drastically um stick with me i will make sure that you guys know stuff super early okay and i hope you guys enjoyed the video again check out this video next and we'll see you later